Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Road to the finals are moving upwards in price, but also we're starting to see other ones move down in price because of the outcomes of these games. Yes, with Champions League games yesterday, more upcoming today, and some more games even tomorrow with live upgrades on the line. We're seeing prices move all over the place. And what I want to do today is give you some tips, especially one that will save you millions, right? Especially if you had the Firmino card yesterday and you were hoping for Liverpool to win. Well, that didn't really happen. And now Firmino, who was at 2 million coins at one point, is now below 1.2 million coins, right? But the opposite effect has happened to other cards like David Alaba and Raspadori as they have gone up in price a ton because they won. So it's a tricky situation as it always is, but I want to take you through some live card trading and especially look through some of the movements that we saw yesterday, how I made coins yesterday trading with these cards live um, uh, in game with the uh, goals that were being scored and all that sort of thing. And then of course, look at the road to the final market as a whole because content still is pretty slow on this game. We had a Ben Yedder SBC yesterday that I think is okay value it is 89 rated not too much of a change from the centurion craftable though we'll talk about that and what could happen today on wednesday mbappe and the team of the week that could be a big part of the content today and will ea surprise i mean will they surprise us at all because it feels like content has been just very quiet and unsurprising on this game and that's making some of the fodder market drop even further as well so we talk a lot to talk about today and maybe we'll get some news about the next promo we're in the dark still what's going to be next we'll talk about potential ideas for that towards the end of the video as well as some maintenance that's happening today so a lot going on per usual but if you're excited for today's video hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new around here let's talk about road to the finals because of course you guys have seen the price movements and a lot of you guys i'm sure have invested in some of these cards like raspadori right i just bought on the market like five six of these cards because he's back down again from where he was. Let me take you through what happened with Raspadori yesterday. Of course, he was extinct at 190,000 coins just for a little bit of time. EA upgraded the price range on this Raspadori and the Calvin Phillips, but Napoli played yesterday, right? He was 220 kind of after the price range update. He hit a low point, went up to about 240 before the game. During the game, kind of fluctuated between 230, spiked to 270. He was all the way up at 270 at one point after Napoli scored their first goal. And that's the first thing I want to talk about is these cards spike every time there's a goal that happens a lot of you guys in yesterday's stream were asking how do i trade with these guys live right a lot of what you're looking forward to is if there is an upgrade on the line which there was for raspadori because napoli won right first win for ucl means an upgrade happening this friday raspadori is gonna get an upgrade this friday it's guaranteed it's locked in because they won so when they scored that goal his price went up people invested like oh my goodness he's gonna go up because of course the upgrade is basically confirmed then right or they're winning and it has a better chance of getting the upgrade so as price goes up right a peak usually happens after that little bit of time which is when i sold raspadori he went from 240 to 270 but he just came back down again and that's where i went out to the market and picked up some more because this guy after he got his price range update from 190 uh, was back to 220 and then of course he got the upgrade uh, or they clinched the upgrade and is going to get upgraded this weekend and he's back down to 220 230 again which is like okay this card is basically getting upgraded and it's confirmed and he's back down to the same price he was before that was even confirmed right earlier in the day that's why i went out and picked up some raspadori and that's why i'm absolutely broke right now because he was at 270 i sold him there he's back down he's guaranteed to get the upgrade yes he's still in packs yes he still could get supplied with whatever packs they put out today whatever content comes today tomorrow but as of right now this card to me is going to be 87 or 88 rated we're not sure later on in the weekend so i'm fine buying at the price that he was and if you guys that bought at 190k and below you're loving life too because that card is very very up in price same thing with alaba right alaba was 1.1 million coins yesterday at the start of the game after of course real madrid was down 2-0 to liverpool he was down to 950 but now was all the way back to 1.3 million coins because he is getting the upgrade he's going to be a 90 rated card on Friday, right? That's the good stuff that happened, right? Raspadori is up and uh alaba is up but of course the firmino and tuta from the losing clubs are down a lot as well. Firmino, 1.2 million coins as he was 2 million, 2.4 million at his peak yesterday when Liverpool scored those two goals. Now, here's the tip that I have for you guys. And this is kind of like the main point of today's video. And it takes a little bit to talk through and a lot to think about because 
for really with these cards, you guys know it's a big gamble, right? But the biggest tip that I can give you with any of these live cards is, and again, I, we talked about this a lot during Path to Glory earlier on this year during the World Cup, is selling in the hype. Because if you think about it, most of these cards, how many of them are going to reach the final 5-star, five 5-star, five going to get all the upgrades and go all the way up in price and maintain their price for the longest part of the year, basically until June? Like, very few, because think about it, a lot of teams will lose until you get to the final, right? There's Every team is still in the competition right now. Teams are slowly but surely going to kind of be eliminated and die off, and their cards are going to do the same. Uh, of course, some of them will still maintain their values a little bit, but of course, when you lose the live aspect on a card, you see price drop-offs like you did on the Tuta and the Firmino yesterday. So the best advice I can give you is selling into the hype. And you might be like, Nate, man, if I sold my Alaba in the hype yesterday, I would have sold him at 1.1 million coins. And now he's at 1.3, bro. I would have lost a lot of potential coins there. And you're not incorrect, but you wouldn't have, uh, you know, lost crazy amounts of coins like Firmino. So it's truly a gamble. And if you sell into the hype, you're hedging a lot of your risk. You're also hedging a lot of your potential reward and your potential gain. So again, if you just know that selling in the hype is the safest and best option to keep your coins, you know that's there and that's always a possibility. Looking into today, right? You think about Manchester City. Look at the Calvin Phillips. We talked about a price range update, right? He was extinct at 650. Price range update happened yesterday. He went to about 760 and was down around 710,000 coins until later in the day. And and he kind of spiked back up and now he's 830k because he's got a game today people invest in these cards the day of the game heading into that day uh, because they want to you know have the potential to make some coins right so phillips is up 833 what would i do with this card today probably sell it in the hype right because again there's nothing that's guaranteed here. I think KDB didn't make the trip, so he's not playing a couple city guys around. Not saying that's going to impact uh, Manchester City's like legitimate chances of winning this game. They still are heavy favorites, and the price of Phillips shows that. But safe route here is to sell in the hype. I know it's not as glamorous. It's not as fun. It's not as cool to gamble or to not gamble and sell a card in the hype but even Barella, right in the past couple of hours he's gone from where he was all day at like 390 400 and he's spiking up in price because people are investing for the potential of their win today and the hopeful upgrade so again it's not cool to sell on the hype because you may not make as many coins but you're going to save yourself from losing a lot of coins from holding on to these cards too long. So again, you just have to weigh the risk with the reward. But if you sell on the hype, you're really not going to lose coins. Let's be completely honest. So just be careful with that stuff today. Even on the low tier, right? I bought some Forsbergs yesterday. He's about 25, 26,000 coins. I picked up a couple Forsberg at about 24K right here because I saw the exact same thing that happened to Tuta yesterday. Uh, Tuta went from like 27, 20, actually it was about 25K on Monday. Yeah, he was 26, 25K right around the content drop. He went all the way to 32K yesterday as people were investing just for the chance of Frankfurt to have, you know, a good game. And then he dropped off like crazy. If Forsberg hits like 29 or 30,000 coins today, I'm going to take my two, 3,000 coins a card or 4,000 coins a card, I guess, if I bought them at like 24K, take the cash there. And, you know, easy money, right? Because these cards will probably rise into the content drop today. Now, again, let's talk about this Tuta card for a second because at 14K, we are talking about a card here that is still live technically. It's not over yet for Frankfurt, although they did lose, um, you know, Koldomani, they're definitely their best striker. Uh, to a red card, so I don't believe he's going to be able to play in the next leg, if that's correct. But like 14k for this, maybe 13,000 coins on bid for a Brazilian center back. I know it's Bundesliga, but Brazilian center back um, with decent stats, even if he doesn't upgrade, this is a card that, especially from the mini release, in my opinion, it's going to be a little bit more rare. I don't mind buying this at 14k and putting it in my club and sitting on that card for like a month. And then, you know, EA puts out some frankfurt sbc and maybe this guy goes up from 14k to like 23 24 000 coins just with good brazilian bundesliga links as well maybe he rises in the next month right that's a pretty low risk investment because it's almost discard and it, it's a brazilian center back with 
decent stats. I think that's a pretty safe investment. If you're looking to club stock something right now, that's about as safe as it gets for a promo card in this game. So that's kind of my thoughts on the promo cards from yesterday. If you still have Alaba, if you still have Raspadori like I do, I'm holding, right? At this stage, I'm holding for the upgrade and holding for the potential price rises and price increase that I would expect to see in the coming days uh, with a lot of these Road to the Final cards going forward. And that's what I want to talk about next. Today's content on Wednesday, how is that going to affect the market? It seems like it's going to be another kind of quiet day because prices on this game have been are pretty chill, right? Prices are going up because the content's pretty chill. Yesterday, we had the Ben Yedder. Let's talk content, right? Ben Yedder SBC, 89 rated. Literally, it's like plus one passing, minus one physical from the Centurions card. And this one does not have the finesse shot trait, which some people might see as a big L, but definitely outside foot, which of course he still has, is the most important stat. A couple of the in-game stats are a little lower than the Centurions card as well, but the price of this SBC is coming in just a little bit lower than the Centurions, um, as you would expect, right? 305,000 coins for this, which in my opinion is not bad value. You see here, there's a good amount of upvotes. There's also a good amount of downvotes. I think some people are seeing the small upgrade over the 88 inform, and they would rather just go buy this card tradable. I don't blame you. Other people are like, Nate, I can get this crafted. I have nowhere to put my high rated fodder right now or just some of my fodder in general. So I'm doing a Ben Yedder player SPC like this just because I have the fodder, extra fodder to do it, right? And I completely understand that. I think this is craftable very I mean, easily for under 300,000 coins. The biggest part of this SBC is the one squad. I think it's an 87 rated squad with an inform, 182,000 coins. But that's the fodder that people have right now. I mean, if I look at my club, I have a bunch of extra 86 and above fodder that there's really nothing that I want to put it into right now. No icon packs, no hero player picks. I don't want Ben Yedder. I don't want Spinazzola personally for my club. I'm not a huge fan of the Fernando Torres icon that was dropped. So right now I'm sitting on a bunch of high rated fodder with not too much, uh, I guess, demand for it on the market or places where I want to put it. And uh, you can see that's kind of where the fodder market is heading as well as a lot of these top tier cards are just kind of slowly dwindling. 88s, 27K, 87s, under 20K, 89s, 36, 37,000 coins for those. That high tier demand is just ever so slightly dropping off because there's just not as many SBCs out that people want to do right now. And they're not buying as much fodder for those higher rated cards. And uh, the Ben Yetter didn't really help that yesterday. An 87 squad, like we said. Uh, but again, it's not that it's not going to move the fodder market that much. So I still think the same thing is going to happen. Unless EA drop us a surprise today on Wednesday, the high tier fodder is probably going to stay the same. Maybe dip down even a little bit further. I think we're just really experiencing a price correction on fodder at the moment unless ea have something up their sleeve but the low tier is where all the demand is at 82s 83s 84s i mean look at some of the 83s 2.9k 3,000 coins for these guys yesterday they spiked up even more some of them were like three and a half k this could be a potential quick flip investment um if your 83s and like if you can get them under 3,000 coins maybe they go above specifically the ones that you saw go above 3,000 coins yesterday they could absolutely go above 3,000 coins again today how much was hoybier hoybier was 3.5k right that 83 times 10 is like the main attraction of content on this game right now and it's refreshing again today every 24 hours we're able to do this 83 times 10 we're going to be able to do it again today on a wednesday so definitely watch out for the low tier fodder moving in that regard, maybe stock your club with a little bit lower prices that we're experiencing right now. Now, part of the issue with the lower prices, you're like, you might be watching this video and you're like, Nate, I can't even log on to the game to do that if I wanted to. Uh, EA tweeted out um, about an hour ago. They said, we have scheduled maintenance uh, and it's a long maintenance, like six and a half hours of maintenance today. Um, on FIFA 20, oh, nice typo here. FIFA 23 is going to be down for six and a half hours. So a very long maintenance time, but it is nice to have this maintenance on a Wednesday, not on a Wednesday night headed into Thursday rivals rewards. So at least GG to EA for timing the maintenance a little bit better. Not sure what this is for, but if you're not able to log on to the game right now, that's probably why. And also when, let's say noon UTC, which I believe is noon UK time, I think. And I think UTC and UK are about the same. Um, but uh, watch out for the market, right? Watch out for prices because 
people are going to be listing some cards, trying to get on some bids as maintenance is about to start, but prices are going to be all jumbled up probably if the market is unavailable during this entire um, server outage period. And once you get back onto the market, I would definitely watch fodder because when we had uh, the, the servers go down the last time there was a lot of fodder cards that came back onto the market really cheap like 84s were popping up on the market you can get them on bid for like 3k snipes for like 4k right they're like 5,000 coins over 5k probably going to spike again with the 83 times 10 uh, going up today so if you're on the market when the servers come back up um, if they're like a complete server outage for a lot of that time today Watch out for that side of the market because there might be some moves to be made there. Same thing with Road to the Finals, right? A lot of these guys maybe go a little bit low as the markets come back up and people start relisting uh, re and putting cards back up. So definitely keep an eye out there. But for the rest of content today, we have one more SBC left uh, for this objective. The uh, Foot 23 Road to the Final, right? We've got this one, which uh, some people have been investing a little bit for this. Um, I think... Every single day we've had an SBC now, there have been prices that have moved, right? Yesterday we had the outstanding puzzle SBC and some left-wing, right-wing players from your top nine nations, top five leagues were moving in price. Remember the uh, Manchester City players moved the other day for the, the other pack SBC. It's all because there is a SB, there's an objective that is kind of correlated with these uh, SBC packs. So that's kind of massive. We'll see another one of those today. And then speaking about team of the week, there's an Mbappe prediction. Like everybody's predicting Mbappe to be in team of the week this week, which I think is very possible. Um, and I think his informs price is starting to reflect that a little bit. And Mbappe's inform is about 2.1 million coins. If he gets an inform today, it'll be 93 rated, most likely having 93 pace. And that would be a really big addition to team of the week a lot of people would want to open their team of the week packs for a shot at mbappe this is a pretty star-studded team of the week based on the prediction we're seeing here on footbin uh mbappe de bruyne bruno fernandez uh royce may not be bad tavernier leno depends on who is featured i'd love emerson to get featured that'd be kind of a cool card to have uh but especially if you have bruno kdb and mbappe in the same team of the week that could be a nice team of the week, which would bring some more weekend league demand for the Reds and for people to play weekend league this weekend. So watch out for that. But especially for an Mbappe team of the week today, that could be pretty fire. And then also, guys, we got to get some news. We have to get some news on what is next on this game. Uh, whether it's a leak for, we're still, I mean, I'm going to say this every day, we're still missing four clubs are not represented right now by a road to the final player, specifically AC Milan. We keep mentioning that. We got to get a leak or some sort of SPC for a road to the final player soon. All we've had is Spinazzola and Diaby so far, which is crazy to me that we have no, no other news, no, nothing else that is leaked at the moment about anything related to road to the final uh, it's just crazy. So hopefully we get some more news around that today. And then also a loading screen. Wednesdays have been loading screen days in the past, but it just seems like EA right now are just being quiet and they don't, I don't know, they don't want to tell us anything. They, they didn't want to do anything. Um, and maybe there's a reason behind that. You know, the promo that we had right after Road to the Final last year was the Silver Stars promo, which to some was a pro promo that was really frowned upon and not a lot of people were interested in it because it was like, okay, why am I um, building up a silver team that I'm barely going to use except for some extra foot champs objectives? Um, and, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with my main team, which it kind of took the um, kind of the demand and the focus off of that. So I'm really curious to see if that's what we're going to get again this year. If we get the silver promo again this year, then obviously you'd be able to tell and know that, okay, EA thinks that this is a valuable promo uh, that they're going to run it again. So we're going to keep a close eye on the loading screen and leaks for that because last year we had some leaks starting today um, about that promo. And that was the next promo last year. So we're going to have to see. I kind of hope that it's not. But who knows? Probably a new silver stars today as well. Uh, maybe not as much demand for that since the tokens are going away. But honestly, with the, the content being a little bit slower as it is, I've found myself enjoying doing a lot of the 81 plus double upgrades because they have been pretty good for fodder. And still, with the 83 times 10 every single day, there's a couple SBCs to craft that lower tier fodder into. The extra 83s that I'm getting, I'm just putting it into the 82 plus player picks for the Future Stars Academy, which is kind of nice to do as well. So these have been a pretty solid grind. And they're not that expensive and they're fun to do, especially I finally hit a, a road to the final card. I packed Lamella from an 83 double on the companion app. 
uh, like literally an hour ago, and that was nice to finally hit a live card. But I'm gonna try to hit some more live cards, especially with just how much fun it is to trade with these road to the finals. Um, you know, I, I would love to try to pack some more of them. So keep a close eye on these road to the finals. This is what I'll leave you guys with. A lot of them are still chilling around their same prices, but if they have a game like we looked at the Barella, like we looked at with um, Calvin Phillips as well, if they have a game upcoming, their prices tend to start creeping upwards. But for these guys that don't, like Lucas Mora, he's still pretty low. Ferran Torres, a tall, you know, some of these guys still look really, you know, decently investable to me, not at their lowest prices by any means. But if we have any dips in price in the next day or two days, if we're going to get a Silver Stars promo, guys, these road to the finals are just going to fly because live cards and, you know, no new promo coming out. What do we have happen when a new promo comes out and it's disappointing? The previous promo cards go up because those are the ones that people want to use. So we're going to watch this kind of unfold on the market in the next couple of days, especially with the leaks and to see what's going on in this game. But if it's going to be a quiet week, road to the finals are just going to go up even more, which is why I feel even more comfortable having literally all my coins right now in road to the final invest because what's going to stop that right now? There was no UEFA marquee matchups yesterday, not a lot of supply. So unless EA's got something up their sleeve for today on, on content, something other than just a refresh of an 83 times 10 and a team of the week, it might be another pretty quiet day. And of course, that could be good for those investments and still time to get in on some of these cards as well. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit more in tomorrow's video with information that we potentially get today. So if you're excited for a Wednesday of content, I know there's not a ton to be excited about, but I'm seriously guys, yesterday was an absolute blast trading with these road to the final cards. It was so much freaking fun. And hopefully today there's a lot of excitement as well. By the way, these cards are not live. Don't buy Valverde, don't buy Konate, Foden, none of those. Those are not live. Okay. Only the new cards are the live ones that are in packs right now. None of the other ones are live. Ones to watch is are, but those are individual performance based. Hopefully we see man of the matches uh, coming to this game this weekend as well. We'll talk more about that in some videos upcoming as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate for the count. I'll catch you guys today on stream. Peace.